Hey guys, Henry from Omnibus Tutorials here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a chessboard in Excel. I used to play a lot of chess as a kid, and then I kind of stopped playing for a long time, and I recently got into it again. And as I was playing, I thought, I wonder if I can make a chessboard in Excel. It is checkered, and I thought, you know what? Conditional formatting is going to be perfect for this. And before I start, I'd like to start off with a quote, and it is, in life, as in chess, forethought wins. So chess is an 8x8 eight eight board with checkered squares, and I wasn't entirely sure how to do this when I first started, but a little bit of playing around, and I figured out just by thinking about the relationship between columns and rows, and I just kind of pretty much just used some functions that I knew and then saw the relationship between those and then developed conditional formatting that fit that logic. So before I start, I'm going to show you a couple of formulas that we're going to use. First one we're going to use is called row. And I'm going to open parentheses and it has brackets for the reference, which means I don't actually need it. It is optional. So I'm just going to control enter, but it's going to use the cell that it's in. And in this case, the row of a16 is 16. So if I drag this down, it's going to be 16, 17, 18, because that's the row that it's in. And with the same logic, I can do equals column, and again, the brackets mean I don't need it. It's not necessary. It's not going to give me an error if I don't enter it. When I control enter, it's going to give me column 1, because a is the first column. I can drag that over and see that that moves along with it. Now, the other f uh, function we're going to use is called mod. And if you type it in there, it says returns the remainder after the number is divided by the divisor. divisor. So we're going to go mod, and I'm just going to show you 4, 2. Now, we all know 4 divided by 2 is 2, so it goes into 4 perfectly. So it, there's no remainder, there's zero remainder as we see here. But if we do something like mod 5 comma 2, that doesn't go perfectly into 5. So when I hit control enter, it's going to say 1. There's a remainder of 1. So this is kind of what I knew going into it. And I'm just going to, and then I played around with, hey, what's the remainder of that divided by 2? And I got a bunch of 1s and zeros. That's kind of what I was looking for. So I decided to do mod row divided by 2 plus mod column divided by 2 and see what this got me. Now I'm going to go 8 over and 8 down. That's 7. I need to go one more. 8. And when I go down... How many is this? This is 10. I'm going to delete 2. I don't need that. So in chess, the bottom right-hand corner is going to be white, and it's going to go every other. And as I'm looking at this pattern, I see it looks like all the 1s are going to be white, and all the zeros or 2s are going to be blacks. So I'm just going to take this equation... This is my initial thought, and I improved upon it. So I'm going to say manage rules. It come down to conditional formatting, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt, H, L, and then N for new rule. And I'm going to click use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm just going to paste this in there. And I'm going to add an equal sign. And I'm going to say does not equal 1. And I'm going to format that, fill, black, OK. My thought was, hey, all the ones are equal uh, to whites, and the zeros and twos are equal to black. So anything that's not a one, make it black, right? So that was my logic, and that worked. And I thought that looked good, and I'm just going to add a border right quick using the drop down right here, but I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut, Alt, H, 
B for border, and S for outside border. Now I have a border on my chessboard. However, there was one improvement you could make. The zeros and twos were black. There was ones because there was one remainder in one of these equations. Right here, one of these is a one. Not both of them, though. If they're both ones, it would be two, right? And if none of them were ones, it would be zero. So then my thought was, hey, I'm going to modify this equation and improve it a little bit and say, hey, if those two are equal to each other because if it's 0 plus 0, I want that to be black. And if it's 1 plus 1, I also want that cell to be black. And I'm just going to click OK. And I need to take this parenthesis away right here. And I'm going to apply that. And it's not going to change, but I think it's cleaner. Uh, it's more easy for anyone to go in there to understand. Now I'm just going to delete these contents. I'm going to leave the formatting, but delete the contents with Alt, E, A, and C, which clears contents. And now I'm just going to take all these cells and just make more of a chessboard right, right, right like that. Now, that's how you make a chessboard in Excel. I'm Omnibus Tutorials, and I hope you liked it. Thanks. Please don't forget to subscribe if you liked it.